Welcome back. The School District of Rhinelander Drama Department will present Radium Girls this weekend. And here to tell us all about the performance is Roddy McMillan and actors Lisa and Josh. Good morning to you all. Thanks so much for being here bright and early. So we're excited to learn more about this because this play is inspired by a real life story with quite a bit of history behind it. So can you describe um, the plot a little bit for us? Yeah, well the story is based, uh, it's a true story, uh, based on the US uh, Radium Corporation, which was in New, uh, New York. And um, it's really about the girls who work there. And we call them girls because they were very young. They were 12, 13, 14. Yeah. And what they were doing was uh, painting dials with luminous paint made of radium. And that was the problem. Radium was a huge, new, big chemical. It was very popular and everything. But people didn't fully understand the side effects of it. Of course. So how does it come about um, to choose the plays that you guys do? You know, is it a, a big group effort? Do you choose? You know, and you know, and how, how did you come across this one? Um, well, actually, what we, we sort of look around and see what plays there are, mm -hmm. and we also look to see what are the most popular plays that are being done in high schools at the moment, and this was in the top ten for the last three or four years, okay. uh, and somebody else suggested it might be a nice play to do, sure. so that's what we did, basically. Sure. Yeah. So I want to know what you guys think. You know, how has the process been, and just how much have you enjoyed learning the history part of it? It's been awesome. My character um, was a real person, so it's really cool to look back and learn about the history and now try to almost relive it, I guess. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how about for you? I loved it. I mean, actually looking back at the documents and actually being able to use those props and like look back at like my character in the script and looking at that and saying, it's the exact same, mm -hmm. it's, it's very fascinating. Exactly. And so what would you want to say um, to all of your friends and to parents and everyone out there to get them to come see it? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's I mean, your pitch? <laughs> Well, it's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a very fine story, and you're going to see some great acting. Exactly. Uh, these, uh, these students are at the top of their game right now. And it's speaking wonderful. of that, let's go ahead and see a sneak peek of part of Radium Girls. So take it away, you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the beginning. Um, it's like uh, an introductory piece where both of the two lead characters are actually in, in their uh, lawyer's offices, and this is the conversation that's going on. So much light. Daylight, all the time. And on sunny days, you almost felt like you were sitting outside. So. It was that bright. And that surprised you, Grace? It was a factory. I thought it would be dark and dirty. Then why go to work there? I was 15. It was time I paid my own way. Pay your own way? What about school? Oh, I didn't miss it so much. The girls were all so nice, and the work wasn't hard. It wasn't like factory work, really. It was more like art. Oh, painting those dials. We were artists. I'm not the one you should be talking to. Von Sashaki. He's the one you should be talking to. Now, Arthur, you know he won't talk to us. It was his process. Tell me about that process, Arthur. You used the powder. Uh, we used the powder. We mixed it with an adhesive to make the paint. And that business with the brushes? I didn't invent that. They were doing that when I started there. But you knew about it. We all knew about it. We just didn't realize what it meant. Now we're going to move right to the end of the play, the final speech. OK. <clears throat> I think back on those days, and I think to myself, how could it have happened? I remember so clearly climbing up the stairs up to the studio at Alden Street. At the top of the stairs, those wide, high windows, and the slant of the light, the way it hit the floor, the way the floor creaked beneath my feet, and the smell of the place, chalky like an old school room, and those girls, um, school girls really, all bent to the task, in their plain green smocks, with their delicate little hands moving so quickly. No man could do the work those girls did, so fast, so careful. <sighs> try as I might, Harriet, try as I might. <laughs> I cannot remember their faces. I never saw their faces. Good job, Josh. Bravo, you guys. I'm drawn in, right? Don't you guys at home want to see more of this? Uh, fantastic job. We really appreciate it. And just really quickly, uh, for more information, where can people go on tickets? Well, it opens at the high school tonight. So mm -hmm. it's tonight, uh, Friday, Saturday at 7 o'clock at night, Sunday at 1 o'clock. Tickets on the door are $5. Fantastic. Well, I hope you guys have a great uh, performance and turnout. And uh, break a leg. I hope that everything goes well. We really appreciate you being here Thank and uh, getting a little sneak peek.